backtrack a little bit because a lot went on between now and then. When you started your wrestling training, were you still playing semi-pro football at the same no, time? No, that was my last game. Oh, that, you get, that was the end of your football career? Yeah, I was career? done. Okay. I played five years and I was done. Was there any money in semi-pro football? No. No. It's no. almost like indie wrestling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dollars Were you a wrestling fan when you were a kid growing up? I used to go, okay, I was born in North Carolina, mm -hmm. Greensboro, but I moved to Atlanta, I'm sorry, to Florida when I was 13. Then I was 15, I moved to Atlanta. So I would go to the show sometimes, and my, my favorite wrestler was Dusty Rose. Well, Dusty Rhodes. Well, you and him have something in common. <laughs> you shared a certain fruit together. <laughs> Not the only two that ever had that fine fruit. Yeah. You, you and Dusty shared the same fruit. <laughs> the fruit of our labor, baby. <laughs> so, and I told him, I told Dusty about it. He was like, get out. I said, I used to wear the elbow pad. <laughs> and the whole nine. And he thought that she was funny as fuck. I was like, dude, I'm serious. Stop laughing. I'm serious. He was like, okay. So I would go and see NWA Mid Atlantic in North Carolina. And I would go, not a lot. I will watch it sometime, not a lot. Mm -hmm. But Dusty became my favorite. So quite naturally, when we started working with ECW and he came through, we connected. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, it was a promo that he did one time. I don't forget what it was now. Somebody had, had him in the claw. And he got color. And I was like, this. Now let me try to get this understanding. He squeezed your head until you started bleeding. <laughs> like it was a piece of fruit, yeah. <laughs> and he started laughing. He was like, Jack, that was funny one. I said, I swear to God it was. I said, he squeezed your head to do about the pop. And he was like, he started laughing. So he went out to the ring and cut that same promo that he did when I was a kid. And we became like that. Really? You became yeah. tight with him? Yeah. Yeah. And he would always ask me, he was like, New Jack, give me some of your videotapes that you couldn't promote. He said, my son Cody is one of your biggest fans. Really? And Cody was a kid then. Oh yeah, yeah, during the ECW days? Yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah. a kid. And I would give him my tape. And I asked him one day, I said, Dust, you sure these tapes ain't for you? <laughs> he was like, no. I said, you sure? He was like, no, they're not for me. They're for my son. I said, all right. So I gave him, I was just fucking with it. You know what I mean? But I gave him the tape, and I don't know what he did with him, but he was just like, I was his favorite. And we got along just like that. Interesting question, just to tr try and tie in 2020, 2021 a little. Did you ever hear from Cody Rhodes about doing anything with AEW? No, but I'll tell you what I did one day. And I, I was like, oh, I shouldn't have did that. His wife is black. Yeah. I didn't know that was his wife. Oh. So out on Twitter, I said, Cody Rhodes got a black girlfriend. I said, I know Dusty is doing cartwheels in his <laughs> grave. <laughs> and everybody attacked me. Everybody came on Twitter. New Jack, you ain't shit. And I was like, what? And I didn't know. I, I thought it was his girlfriend. It's his wife. But I never talked to Dusty, but I did talk to some people.
The World Wrestling Federation was live at the Spokane Coliseum in Spokane, Washington, Sunday, July the 6th, 1986. In the opening contest, Bret Hart beat C.V. Afi. Billy Jack Haynes with the win over Tiger Chung Lee. Cowboy Lang defeated Lord Littlebrook. Hercules victorious over Leaping Lanny Pawfall. King Kong Bundy beat Pedro Morales. Big John Studd with the win over Cousin Luke. And in the main event, the WWF Tag Team Champions, the British Bulldogs, retain the titles over the Dream Team. If you were in Spokane Live, share your memories in the comment section below. Use the links in the description box to keep wrestling legends working in our eBay store and on our world-renowned Patreon streaming service so we can bring you more interactive superstar shoot interviews to relive the good old days of professional wrestling. Check it out. Boston Wrestling Sports and the MWF explodes into a new year with professional wrestling content galore and need you to join our family. Every Tuesday night at 10 p.m. after our Monday Night Raw review, it's Wrestling Inside Us at your house with WWE Hall of Famer Mr. USA Tony Atlas. Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. after NXT and AEW, join rotating legends on Wrestling Inside Us Special Edition. Every Thursday night at 10 p.m. after our NXT and Dynamite review, it's Marty Jannetty's No Holds Barred Sex, Drugs, and Rock and Roll Journey on Wrestling Insiders Party with Marty. Friday night after SmackDown, don't miss John Cena Sr.'s Wrestling Insiders Fabulous Fridays. Plus, look for classic clips, history videos, bonus live episodes, pay per view, watch alongs, and more. For less than a cup of coffee at Starbucks, get early ad free access to our Wrestling Insider talk shows, our acclaimed studio shoot interview DVD library, and help keep wrestling legends working during the worst of times 